Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Heaven. Kevin, bitch. I hope it ain't my time to go already. I'm keeping that in here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me start over. Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Kevin. I hope you guys are having a good day, a good night. If you're not having a good day or good night, I hope that later on that you do have a good day or good night. Or that this video helps you have a good day or good night. So I had to make this emergency video because Mikel and I recorded earlier today and that video will be up at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Mikel and I are back to our schedule Tuesdays and Fridays at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you're in the West Coast, that's at 12 noon. And if you're over in the UK, that's at 8 p.m. your time. So yeah, we'll be back with a new video. It's an hour and 17 minutes and you're going to love that video. But I had to make an emergency video because I did not want to wait to talk about this incident. So I'm going based on what TMZ alleged happened at this medical office over in Beverly Hills. Please make sure you start this video off by clicking that thumbs up button and make sure that you share this video on Facebook and Twitter. And if you're watching Scorpion Show for the first time, I hope that you click that subscribe button. Now, you know, I was minding my business watching Monday Night Raw. Y'all know that's what I love to do on Monday nights between 8 and 11 on USA. Shout out to the WWE, because they just put the Ultimate Warrior in the Hall of Fame. I know y'all don't give a damn, but I care. So anyway, I seen this story about Kanye West while I, was, while I was on my phone, and I'm just thinking Kanye West got into a fight with the paparazzi, because you know Kanye and the paparazzi don't get along, they always fight, and you know, one day he love him, one day he hate him. So that's what I thought happened. So after I finish editing our video, which is now rendering, I go to Twitter and see what's going on again, and then I seen that. Kanye West and Kim Kardashian was provoked by this boy. So according to TMZ, Kim Kardashian was um, on her way into this building. The guy let her in and then he proceeded to curse out the paparazzi calling them faggot ass niggas. And Kim Kardashian was like, you know, don't use that. Don't say the N word. And then he proceeded to tell her, fuck you. And you use a nigga lover and all of this stuff. So Kanye got called by Kim. And then, you know, he was saying, fuck you, Kanye. And then, I'm, you know, I'm reading on TMZ that it was, a, you know, all this is alleged that, you know, the boy, he, you know, Kim and Kanye started looking for him in the building. And then they got into it. Kanye West ended up punching an 18 year old boy in the face. Now, if you ask me, I am riding with Kanye West on this one. There is no way you're going to disrespect my fiance and, you know, disrespect me by calling me niggas and all of that. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm just not one for all of the racial slurs. I'm just not here for being disrespected. I, I'm just not here for that at all. Could Kanye West have not, you know, fought this boy? Yes. But what would you do if you was in that situation? You would want to fight. Because, you know, at first, it's, diff it's totally different. When someone says that to you on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, it's just so much hate on the internet. All of these white people are the racist white people. They want to sit there and spew all of the hate behind the computer screen, but don't have the balls to say it to your face. Then when you do have the balls to say it to your face, they're mad about what you did to them. So now, you know, the uh, Beverly Hills Police Department, they are investigating this incident with Kanye West. And I'm just not mad at Kanye West at all. And I'm normally mad at Kanye. Because he has a love-hate relationship with the paparazzi. And, you know, I just be like, he, he's just crazy. He always says stuff about people. But this time, Kanye, I am team Kanye West. I am just so tired. First of all... Yes, it's 2014, and I know that, you know, the civil rights movement was back in the 60s, and, you know, a lot has changed, but we still have a long way to go. As I said this on previous videos, no one is born hating another race, another color, you know, it's the same thing, another race at all. We are all born, you know, loving people. Racism is taught. Like, I don't have no hate for no race. I wasn't brought up that way. Oh, you, you're supposed to hate white people. You call them this name. You call them that name. Like, no, I don't have time for that. And, and it's just a shame that this kid is 18 years old and he's talking like that. So now you got to look at who his parents is and how they feel about, you know, well, we already know how they feel about black people. If he's going around spewing all of this hate. It's just, it's just so sad that in 2014, we are still 
deal, still dealing with this. It's fucking sad. And then I just seen the video on Oprah's channel with Tamara Mowry talking about how she gets so much hate from white people and sometimes black people because she married a white man. Why does it matter who you love? Why does it matter? Most of these people that sit there and hate about who you love and don't have nobody loving them in the first fucking place. But they want to sit there and tell you, oh, you can't love them. You this, you that. You a nigga lover. Oh, back then, you know, we, we used to charge $300 and now you giving it away for free. You know, it's just... It's just so sad that we have to go through this. And it shouldn't be like this. But you know what? Honestly, it is what it is. And it's hard. It's freaking hard to ignore something like that. And it's, it's harder to ignore it when it's in your face. When someone sits there and just talk to you and, you know, you know Martin Luther King was nonviolent and everything. But that's just not working today. It's not working today at all. So Kanye, I'm glad you did what you had to do. And then when you look at the comments on TMZ, when you look at the comments, oh my God, it's just crazy. It's a whole bunch of racist stuff going on in the comment section. We're saying, oh, well, Kim Kardashian is a nigga lover. Kim Kardashian loved black men. Who cares? If she loved black men, she loved black men. Why are you so concerned about who she's loving? Who do you love? If you want to date all white people, just be, that's fine. Date white people. It's black people that will never date a white person. That doesn't mean that they're racist. That just means that they're just not into going into multiracial relationships or interracial relationships. That's the word that I'm looking for. But it shouldn't matter to you if you don't like, I mean, it shouldn't matter to us if you don't like that at all. I don't give a damn. Date who you want to date. Fuck who you want to fuck. That's how I'm looking at it. It don't stop my heart from breathing, and it don't stop me from shitting what I eat, okay? It don't stop me at all. Like, it, like it's just so sad that we are dealing with this in 2014. Kanye West, I'm not mad at you. I'm glad you did what the fuck you had to do. And anybody else going through this, you don't have to take that. Now, some people might have went the nonviolent approach. But you know fucking well Kanye West is not going to stand there and let you disrespect him like that and his fiance like that. And I don't know if North was in the building, but then you disrespected someone's mother too. So Kanye, I'm not mad. Motherfuckers might be mad at you saying, oh, Kanye West this, Kanye West that. But you did what you had to do. You stood up for yourself and I applaud you because I would have did the same thing. Let somebody talk like that to my mother. Let somebody talk like that to my sister. Let somebody talk to my nieces like that. It's going the fuck down. You don't, you don't have to do that. Now, I know that this video might have some people, you know, racist people leaving comments. But I will block your ass in a second. You will not come to my channel spewing that racist hate. I'm not here for it. And I never will be here for it. If you only want to date white people, you date white people and you keep that shit to yourself. If you only want to date black people, you only date black people, but you keep it to yourself. All the people, you know, it's, it's, it's also sad that people say, well, I don't want to date my race because so-and-so and so-and-so. -and -so. What's wrong with dating your own fucking race? That's some self-hate shit right there when you don't even want to date your own race. That's something that you have to get it together with, you know, find a doctor to talk to, what would you call it, a psychologist, find somebody and talk to them because there's no way you should hate your own race. And then, if you buy racial, then you really fucked up because you're black and you're white, but then you're going around hating people and you're the same race. Get it the fuck together. That's for anybody out there that's watching this video that don't even like themselves because of who they are. You know, love who you want to love, but don't let it be out of hate. I don't want to date black people. Like, come on now. It's 2014. Let's get it the fuck together. Kanye, I'm not mad at you. Like I said again, Kanye, I ain't mad at you. And, you know, leave your comments down below. I will be sure to reply to your comments just as you've seen these comments on this wall. So, um, I'll talk to you all later. And make sure that you show up at 3 p.m. for your appointment. Peace.